A beautiful TV star gets a dream date with America's most appealing lawyer, JFK Jr. Did you find him attractive? Yes. My hunky Valentine. She just got engaged, but don't send her... Hello, everyone. I'm Maureen O'Boyle. Welcome to A Current Affair for this Friday, February 14th. It's Valentine's Day, and we're at one of the most romantic spots in California, Joffrey's Restaurant on the magnificent Pacific Coast. The Valentine drawings covering the walls here were sent by Hollywood's biggest stars to be auctioned off to raise money for the American Heart Association. Behind me is artwork by Burt Reynolds, Lonnie Anderson, Hammer, Carol Burnett, Whoopi Goldberg, and scores of other celebrities. Our show today is all about love and romance. We kick off with a beautiful blonde who had a lunchtime date that every woman in America would die for. Robin Dorian brings us the story of my hunky Valentine. She's Brazil's pop star princess, Captain Kangaroo in hot pants, and she's desperately seeking a Valentine. But not just any old heartthrob, she wants Camelot's Cupid, America's crown prince, John John Kennedy. I have in my mind one person, but I don't have boyfriend almost two years. She'd love to have a date with, with John Kennedy Jr. He's her fantasy man. Even though Shusha is one of the world's richest and most beautiful women, she couldn't help but blush at the thought of going out with John John. He is like number one in most women's list of the ideal dream date because he's got the looks, he's got the money, he's got the family name, closest thing to royalty we have, and he's got a great future. He could be the next president. The thought of a dream date between the South American Barbie and the North American Ken was a little too hot to pass up, especially on Valentine's Day. How could we forgo the possibility of covering such a perfect current affair? Well, we couldn't. So, unbeknownst to John Jr., our cameras were there when the Brazilian goddess and the American Adonis had their first date, lunch in downtown New York City. Later, we asked Shusha if the menu was filled with hearts and chocolates but she wasn't about to kiss and tell. What did you talk about at lunch? About my job, about Brazil. And did you find him charming or attractive? Yes. Tell me a little bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> John Jr., an assistant prosecutor in New York City, is a familiar sight in the Big Apple, biking through Central Park and making the rounds of other city hotspots. And after lunch, he took Shusha for a brief, scenic tour through his trendy neighborhood. Shusha hopes her lunch date with the legal eagle won't be their last supper. She's invited him to Brazil for a lengthy stay. And where would he stay if he goes? Well, where else? Shea Shusha. Is he going to come visit you in Brazil? I don't know, maybe. If John John decides to visit Shusha, he'll see for himself why she's called the queen of the shorties. You see, Shusha is the hottest hit on the Brazilian airwaves. Five hours a day, she dances and sings for millions of starstruck fans, most of whom are children. But this blue-eyed bombshell is no dumb blonde. She's reportedly worth nearly a hundred million dollars. What are you gonna do with all your money? I don't know. I don't know how much I have. You don't know how much money you have? No. So what's the one thing that all the money in the world can't buy? Affection. Only. I need this. I have all. You have everything else you need in your life. The only thing you need is affection. I'm sure you'll get a lot of letters tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> For years, Shusha's been getting her affection from very well-known men, like soccer stud Pele. She was very young. I mean, she was 17 when she met Pele. So the relationship between Shusha and Pele was one of growing up and then growing apart. She's also been linked with the president of Brazil. Well, wouldn't they be surprised if they knew Shusha had been carrying around a photo of JFK Jr. in her makeup case? I think they'd make a gorgeous couple, actually. But Shusha should keep a close eye on the gossip columns. They've linked John John with scores of glamour gals, everyone from Madonna to Daryl Hannah to Jackie O lookalike model Julie Baker. I think he always has a fairly attractive girl. I've never seen him with somebody who wasn't attractive. I'm sure he doesn't mind having a reputation of being the sexiest 
man in the world. It's not like uh, the worst thing that could happen to somebody. You had a date today with one of America's most famous, sexiest, and handsomest bachelors. How was it? Good. Is he, what is he like? I don't know. Ask him. Hey, I would love to, but you're the closest thing. I don't know. Could the guy voted the world's sexiest man alive now be ready to tie the knot? I think he's definitely going to get married, but I don't see it happening anytime soon just because I think that he's got a few more years of wild oats that he has to sow and he's he just is having too much fun. Well, the Brazilian beauty may not be heading down the aisle with the handsome bachelor, but we sure hope she enjoyed her dream date. Shusha's one lucky woman. Now,